Are you playing with my camera, honey? <laughs> Say hi to Caroline. Hi, Caroline. Okay, here we are. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Um, Bye. you got everything? Yep. Tell your parents I said hi. Okay. Bye. Bye. Well, I guess that was Monica's way of letting me know that I needed to update you. Uh, I always drive her home because otherwise she'd have to take the bus if both of her parents work. Can you imagine letting a child that age take the bus? <sighs> Sometimes I wonder about her parents' choices. But anyway, um, I've been a little distracted by some complications, as I'm sure you noticed from last time Richard got away. Um, and I was unable to locate him. I, I, I tried to track him. I couldn't find him anywhere. And I have literally no way of finding him. I don't, I don't even know his last name. But no one has, n nothing has happened. So I'm assuming this is just the world's way of helping me focus back on my work and what we're trying to get accomplished. So I've been focusing on that. Um, actually, I'm about to go there anyway, so here, one second. Okay. I'm sure I've told you this before, but I often visit parks to see if there are any single adults that visit frequently. Well, I found another one. That's Melvin. He's been here every day this week, and probably more. I only just started looking at this park this week. I've done my research, and as I suspected, He's a registered child molester. Child molesters are just, they're just some of the worst. You know, you really have to be a sick, sick person, really selfish, disturbed person to do that to a child. To do that to a little kid, just ruin their life like that. He's next. I promise you he won't be visiting this park very much longer. We're going to fix this. I'm not going to let you down, Caroline. I'm going to make it better. I'm going to make it better. <laughs>